This nigga start rubbing my ass. It looks like I win. <laughs> Oh my god! I've not talked to y'all in forever. Okay. Hey! I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say because I've been gone for so long. <laughs> so, a few things I want to say before I start the video is I started my own like art business, I guess. Um, I make anime paintings. And if you want one, um, the link is going to be in the description. Also, you can look at my Instagram as well. Um, I'll be posting my paintings on there too. And uh, if you want, like, I do commissions as well. As long as there ain't nothing hard as fuck because I'm new at painting. I'm a new painter. So, uh, you know, just hit me up on Instagram because that's where I'll probably most likely see what y'all have to say on there one thing two things um i'm gonna start streaming soon i'm gonna start on youtube um i'm trying to get everything together now like this that, that. streaming is it seems like a, a lot of work a lot of like technology like a lot of it's very technical so i gotta get all this technical shit down before i start streaming i ain't gonna i ain't gonna hold you up no more a story time another story I haven't told a story in a minute, so if I'm a little rusty at telling stories, y'all gotta. All right, so this story time was actually pretty freaking recent. Like, I mean, like, it may be like a week, like recent. Um, how do I start? It? Okay, so, boom. I just got finished telling y'all that I uh, do anime paintings and shit. So with doing anime paintings and things like that, I have to promote myself promote myself you know get my paintings out there like send it to people who i feel like that likes anime or whatever and just you know see what happens from that so what i've been doing is send sending it to a lot of like youtubers who i watch that i know watches anime and stuff like that and so i'm sending them out see who snags see who has to say something and a, a few of the YouTubers that I did send it to, you know, they were complimenting me on the paintings and stuff like that. And I was telling them that I do commissions. Actually, one of the YouTubers um, bought a painting from me. So that's cool. But like, yeah, so I'm just sending them out, sending them out to people. And so the reason why I was sending it out to YouTubers like that, because if a YouTuber like who has all these followers and stuff like that, um you know buys my painting and is able to share it or something if they decide to then that's like a lot more people a lot more customers that can come to me that's what my plan was i was watching this new was well, they're not a new group but like they're new to me because i never watched their videos before so i be in the house you know watching videos on youtube and stuff like that and so i came across this group this group of gentlemen they seem cool or whatever i uh, some of them i think yeah i think some of them watch anime like they've mentioned anime before i don't know if, how deep they are into anime but they watch it so i'm like okay wow they watch anime and um so therefore i'm gonna send my paintings to them to each one of them individually so I was sending out my posts or whatever to them in this group that I that I uh, just started watching individually. Now maybe like I'm not thinking about it or whatever because these are people who you know they got a following they got a like you know they're like you know big people well not big people but like you know famous people like youtube famous people so i'm not expecting anyone to really see it or not it's really just rolling the dice for me i'm just sending it out just to send it out you know i don't know who's gonna see or who's gonna you know say anything or anything like that so one of the guys that i sent it to in the group said something he was like you know complimenting me on it or whatever so after he gave me the compliment i told him that i did i do commissions and stuff like that and if you want something, you can, you know, let me know. Hit me up. So he was like, you know, cool bet. 
So then I also um, told him that, you know, I just started watching their videos and I think that he's really funny and stuff. And so, uh, hold on, cause I have, I have it right here. Yeah, uh, okay, so yeah. Oh, look at my case. This my case is like a little Game Boy case. Yeah, it do work, but I haven't charged it. So yeah, so I had told him that, you know, that I watched the videos and I think that he's funny. So, you know, he said thank you. And then I guess he looked at my page and then seen that I was, you know, in Atlanta. And then he was just like, well, wow, you're in Atlanta. And I'm just like, basically, yeah, I'm in Atlanta. And so he asked, and so he asked me if he can watch me paint one day. And so I'm probably, hmm okay like that's cool you know that's cool like sure like i don't i don't i don't see i don't see the problem with that or whatever so i gave him my number or whatever and i said just hit me up you know we can plan a day to do that in my head i'm thinking i know how guys are i know how guys are to me like with me but i also don't want to assume like that this guy is trying to like court me or anything like that or you know because he might just really just want to be cool with me or something like that you know i don't want to just assume but in the back of my head a little bit i'm just like okay let's just keep the this in mind spread guys are guys i don't know i don't really know if guys even want female friends anymore like i really don't know if they want female friends anymore because like every time i try to be friends with a guy it just never works out it's never like straight strictly friends like it's always like and they kind of like me or like when i have sex with me or something like that and you're just like oh my god nigga i just want to be i just want to have a friend get out one friend damn i don't want to like so i wasn't I wasn't trying to make it seem like that because you know he he got like you know he got a little YouTube fame so like like I'm not thinking like little old me like he's gonna be like interested in me or anything like that because I'm not I wasn't interested in him like I wasn't interested in him I wasn't like like I wasn't trying to court him he asked me if, if you want to watch you know watch me paint so yeah I don't know what I'm trying to say I'm trying to say like okay before me like going and like sending out my shit to people well sending out my shit to the, to the guys like all the guys in this group i did he wasn't the one that if i was to you know you know it wouldn't be him like he i'm not like i wasn't attracted to him like him or anything like that but i thought he was cool like he was funny like i that i think he's funny and cool so he wasn't but he was he's not that he wasn't i'm it was like he was out of town he was out of town and he was gonna text me when he get back in town and then we hang out so we're texting right like he had he texted me and we was texting now we only really texted in the morning time and then throughout the day we didn't really text like that because i assume he has stuff to do because you know you got stuff to do i got stuff to do i ain't really trying to text you i'm not i'm not trying to you know so the conversation me and him had was strictly pg like we was not he, i did not get that type of vibe from him or energy from him that he was trying to do anything with me or be anything with me or anything like that i literally thought like from just us texting it just seemed like he really wanted to be my friend like we didn't talk about relationships we didn't talk about anything sexual like he didn't compliment me i didn't compliment him like you know things that people do like when they are trying to you know trying to see what you got going on like they'll ask you like guys will ask you questions you'll just know if a guy is trying to do something with you by just how they talk with you so he wasn't talking like that with me so okay when we're texting i'm like okay cool like he really wanted to be my friend like that's cool like i'm cool with that because i just wanted to be his friend anyway he had asked me because these these men <laughs> these men they all moved into a new house to a, to a excuse me 
they moved into a mansion. He asked me if I wanted to go like room shopping with him because he has to get some stuff for his room. And I was just like, uh, yeah, sure. I said, like, yeah, I'll go room shopping with you. He was like, sure, that, that's cool. He had texted me in the morning time, asked me if I still wanted to come. And I was like, and I was saying like, yeah, like I basically, yeah, I still wanted to come and stuff like that. And he said, um, like he was saying that he felt like he just need to get some stuff. And I was just asking him, like, you mean before you, you know, come to get me or like during or whatever. And he said that he needed to get like, you know, some stuff for his room, like a bed frame and shit like that. I, I guess, I don't know. I guess he was feeling like, like his room wasn't presentable. So he didn't want me to come or something like that. But like, nigga, you don't know how many niggas like. I don't, I'm not, I'm, really, I'm not really that type of girl. I'm not really, like, gonna be sitting here, like, with my arms crossed, like, ew, like, why are you in, like, like, look like this, like, ew, like, what the fuck? I don't care, like, if I'm hanging out with somebody, I'm hanging out, like, I don't really care like that. So, boom, he was, he was saying, okay, so, this is the part where I just was kind of, like, in my head, I was like, ugh. He was complaining about how I was an hour away and shit like that, just like joking or whatever. And I was just saying that I would make that trip for him, like if it was vice versa. And he was like, um, he, he had said that he needed to be cuddled anyway. And so I was just like, ugh, cuddled. I was like, mm, 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 mm. I just tried to play it off, like not on some like weird shit. I just was like, you know, just tried to make a little joke about it or whatever. But I never confirmed nor denied. I never confirmed, confirmed nor denied that I wanted to do that with him. Cause I just, I don't know. I just didn't want to be like mean or anything like that. Then he asked me, then he asked me, did I smoke? And then that's kind of when my hands kind of threw went up a little bit i was just like Ugh. it don't matter what type of nigga like niggas still gonna try to slide in that smoking shit like why why does that have to always be a thing when you hang out with a, a girl for the first time why is it that niggas feel like smoking is like a form of like I don't know. I don't. I don't know what niggas think. Like, don't ask girls that. Don't ask girls that. If you see, if a girl asks you first, do you smoke? Then you can, you know, go about that shit. But don't stop asking girls that first. Like, stop asking, do you smoke? Like, cause, cause wh why? Like, no, I don't want to fucking smoke with you. Like, I've never met you before. Not to say that I act any different when I do smoke. It's just never know when you have to fucking tase a nigga in his mouth. Like, you never know. So I'm gonna be on my P's and Q's when I first meet a nigga. So I just was basically like playing it off like, no, nah, I don't really smoke like that. Like I'm not really a smoker. I'm not really a smoker. Like I smoke like every now and then, but I'm not really a heavy smoker. I don't get up every morning and be like, oh, I need to smoke this blunt, waking bag. Fast forward, boom, boom, boom. Now, uh, he came to get me. Let's just go when he came to get me. Now in my head, okay, I'm thinking it was like, okay, when he came to get me, it was around like 7 o'clock, like 7 p.m. So, I know that we're not going to go, you know, sh to get the, the supply, get the stuff for his room anymore. Because it's kind of late in the day. Like, or rather, I, I don't, I didn't know if we were or not. I just knew, but I felt like we weren't. So, I was like, okay, I guess we're just going to go back to his, his place or whatever so um boom he came to get me it was cool it was like okay in the car like it was cool like again in my head on my in i'm like friends we're friends in my head friends it's my bro like we cool like we're cool so and again he was not talking to me in any type of way like i did not get no vibes from him i did not feel like oh he was trying to hop down like i didn't feel i didn't get any of that from him so, you know, I'm talking, we talking normal as hell in the car, just talking. And he's actually cool. Like, he's a cool person as a friend. So, boom, we driving. It is damn near an hour away. And um, I ain't even where he live. I ain't even been in that, that side of town before. So, like, I'm, you know, still talking, though. Still talking because one thing I can do, I can talk. I could talk for like I'm just good at conversation like even if I don't care about what we're talking about like I'm just good at talking like like I can do this thing where like I don't want to talk to somebody 
but I know how to keep a conversation with them even though I don't want to talk to them like I could just like spew out conversation like I can do it I can do it to literally anybody like just talk about random shit and people will think that I'm actually interested in what we're talking about but I'm not like I'm just literally I can literally do that I don't know if that's fake or is that like sociopathic it's not sociopathic to just be talking even though you don't want to talk to somebody not to say that's how I felt about him I'm just saying that's something I can do like I can just talk without caring giving a fuck about the conversation pull up to the mansion honey I've never been in a mansion before and just like how like I knew it was a mansion but how like the drive up to the fucking bitch when I tell you I was just like oh my god like because you know bitch I've I've never I ain't no fancy bitch like I've never been in you know that type of area before like it looked like it was like fucking California like I ain't even been like the view like we was on top it was like on top of a mountain and you can like see like Atlanta like like you can see Atlanta it was like super like very classy very like cute very like it was giving definitely everything you was supposed to have gave i'm not trying to act like i ain't never been nowhere before but i ain't been nowhere before before but before we actually like you know parked the car or whatever one of the members damn i was about to say to them <laughs> one of the members had stopped like stopped you know the guy in the car so they was like, okay, the cars were like this. Like, hold on, like this. They were like, stop. And they were talking or whatever. And I was like, I kind of felt like a little like amazed because like, oh wow, like I watch, you know, these people in these videos and stuff like that. It's cool to see them in real life. So I was thinking, wow, is the other people, are the other people going to be there? Like, I don't know. I don't know, but I would like for them to be there because I honestly would want to be friends with all of them. I actually want to be friends with all of them so like it would be cool but if that's the case it will just look kind of like because I know how I don't I don't know how guys are but kinda, I kind of know how guys are like if I was to like okay if uh if they were to see me and this guy together they're gonna think that we're either fucking or we're talking or something like that because I don't know if they do friends. I don't know if they do friends, like having female friends or not. But they're gonna think the, the one or the other. So they're not gonna look at me as a friend because they're gonna think I'm this person's person, even though that's not the case. So even though I wanted them to be there, I still did not want them to be there because I don't want, I did not want them to see us and think that we were together or doing stuff and shit like that plus okay i also want to say this one of the members in the group is fine as hell that's the nigga that would be the nigga because that nigga is fine when i tell you <laughs> but does that make me wrong does that make me wrong to hang out with one of the guys that i'm not attracted to who i didn't like i never said i like never flirted with or anything like that thought we were cool just friends but if it came down to it in the one I am attracted to or whatever, you know, when I said what's up, would that be wrong to be like, what's up? You know what I'm saying? Is that wrong? Because okay, I feel like I should finish this finish the story first for y'all to like, you know, get y'all opinions and shit on it. Boom, be into the house and the mansion excuse me let me watch my tongue we get into the mansion and um bitch what is that we walk into the room and i'm already like looking around like wow like wow but i'm not saying that i'm just you know keeping a, a stone face like i've been somewhere before and just still just looking around like hmm you know it's nice Oh, he's showing his room he's kind of like a little bit embarrassed he's like yeah you know i still don't have my bed frame and blah 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 and you know i'm saying i'm kind of embarrassed my tv not up and blah blah, blah. i'm just still like i don't really care like it's okay we're hanging out like i don't care when i'm not in here like judging you like bitch. nigga you live in a mansion like what the fuck i got to say like so then he showed me like the his little studio area which was like in this like little basement in his room 
bitch, this was amazing. Like, let, let me just tell you how this. Like, it, it was nice as hell. Like, it was nice as hell. So, he showed me that little part. And I'm just like, I'm just like, oh, this is really nice. Like, this is really nice. The setup was nice, you know. The room was nice for what it was. He didn't have nothing to put up. He need, you know, he needed to put some shit up. But, you know, it was nice, too. Like, everything was nice. So, then he asked me, he asked me, if I wanted to like, you know, rate the rooms, like rate everybody's room. So I'm like, rate the rooms? In my head, I'm like, I'm about to go into these other people's rooms. Like, what if they're there? Like, what the fuck? Like, I don't know if that's, uh, I don't know. But I did want to see the other rooms. So I was like, sure, like, let's do it. So he walking around, you know, into this room. The, the, the first room he took me to was the guy that he had seen on when he was like, about to pull in and he was about to be you know his room was i don't even really remember i just remember he had this big ass like projector or whatever in his room and you know the projector was nice that's actually cool i don't remember anything specific about his room I wasn't really staring all in his personal business i just was like oh, okay cool it's a cool room so then we went to the next room the next room was can't even say the next name <laughs> next room okay but the next room was kind of like like down down some stairs and that room was to me was the best room because the carpets were like cute as fuck it was big it just was nice it was a nice fucking it was nice y'all it was a fucking nice ass room that was the one the room i was like that one win so then we went to the next room which was the room the guy was it the guy it was the guy that i think is fine as fuck room but no, oh, okay. Nobody was there though. Nobody was there. It was just me and him there. So, which was, I was happy about. But at the same time, kind of disappointed, but still happy, but kind of disappointed. So we went to the guy's room, who I think was fine as fuck. And it, it like, <laughs> I, I'm trying to say, I don't know how to really put this. You know, when you kind of like have a little bit of an admiration of someone or whatever, and like to be like where they are like where they exist and shit it kind of had me a little bit like my heart was beating because i was like i cannot believe like i literally was watching these niggas on youtube like laughing to their videos and everything and i'm in the place where they live and you know that's like so close to like seeing them like you know, and that's, and then I had to think about that. I was like, what if I seen him? Like, I don't know. I can, I can be normal, but it's like, I don't know. Like, I have an admiration for these people. Like, I think they're cool. Or I think they're funny. I want to be friends with them. So it's like, you know, you kind of feel like, oh, wow, like this is cool as hell. So boom, he showed me his room. And then he showed me to the next guy's room, which was nice too. I'm drawing a blank. I mean, it was, it's, it's like a big group. So like it was a few of uh, few rooms i'm not gonna say how many rooms it was i'm just gonna say leave it at that so then he asked me to rate the rooms who are who was first like who was first second third fourth you know, so on and so forth and so you know i gave him the and um his i think i rated his kind of like second to last or some shit now at this time it was probably like okay I did not eat anything. I had ate early in the day, but I didn't eat nothing. I didn't eat nothing. Yeah, the rest of the day because I thought we was gonna get some food or something like maybe he was gonna have us some snacks or something that it, like in in this big mansion that he lives in. Like I thought it was gonna be like that type thing. Like at least have some food or some shit. Like I thought he was gonna be very host host. How do you say that? He was gonna show some hospitality yeah i thought he was gonna show a little hospitality you know at least say do you want some i don't know if they had food in their house or not but like at least offer like a bit some food like i don't see why people do that if i come to your place or if you come to my place like i'm going to offer you food off the rip because i don't know i'm just that person that just just feels like someone's always hungry not hungry but just like i just like I don't know food is kind of like a love language to me like i just always want people to be fed or like to eat or like you know what i'm saying i don't know why but i just always like offer people food when they come over like do you want some food do you want me to make you some food do you want to go get some food like we you should always have food like where if you're hanging out with somebody 
Nigga didn't offer me no food. Nigga didn't ask me if I was even hungry. Not even no juice. None. So, bitch was getting a little lightheaded. Like, you know when you haven't eaten in a while, your head kind of hurt a little bit. But I don't know. I didn't really mention me being hungry and nothing like that. Maybe I should have. But I wasn't really thinking about it that that much. But I was hungry. Like, I had a hunger headache. So, we sitting there watching the 8 to 5 side show. We was talking about that. And it was cool. The hangout was cool, like, for what it was, like, in my head as friends. Like, if this was you know two friends this is cool like this is straight like this is a this is how i want to be with my friend like we just chilling so then he was like he asked he told me that he wanted to um he wanted to go to the roof like he had kept saying that he wanted to go to the roof he he actually said he wanted to smoke on the roof when we was texting and like as much as he was talking about this damn roof i would have thought it was like a whole setup like it was a whole like i don't know a cord out there like it was like something out there for us to do to to want to you know be sitting up there so but it had started raining a little bit and so so when we was about to go like we went out we went upstairs to like the little balcony roof thing and it was i just peeked my head out and it was like kind of raining a little bit so we was like okay we're not gonna do that we'll just wait till it started raining so we went back down the stairs we ended up going back upstairs to the roof because he wanted to go up there so bad i don't know why because y'all was nothing up, uh, up there it was nothing out there it just was we was upstairs like on you know on the roof and we just i mean it felt nice outside it wasn't like burning hot like how it is right now so it was it was nice and, and nice and cool and we just was talking up there as well again cool for like friendship shit like we talking we chatting it up getting to know each other just talking about shit and um I also want to note that in person, okay, on the videos, he looks, they, like, he looks taller than what he is in person, which makes me think, damn, am I just tall? Like, am I just a tall bitch? Like, what the hell? But I also had on some, like, like, little sandals that had, like, a little, that had, like, a thickness, like, the sole was kind of thick, so it made me a little bit tall. He said he's six foot. And I couldn't believe it because I'm like, I know I ain't six feet, bitch. Like, I know I'm not six feet. But I wasn't, like, dead, like, on top of me. We was probably, like, with my little things on, with my little shoes on, we probably was, like, uh, probably, like, like, mm, this is his head right here. My head was right here. <laughs> this is so stupid. I felt like I was, like, right. I felt like I was, like, this on his ass. But I know I probably was, like, right here with my shoes on. Without my shoes, I probably was, like, right there. Mm. so we sit out we're outside talk, we're standing outside talking and uh just talking 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 now i noticed when we were talking because i'm i pay attention to everything body language the way people talk the way people look like because i'm the type of person i look in people's eyes when i'm talking and so like i pay attention to all these things now his body language and i hate that i notice stuff like that like little shit like this but his body language like how he was taught like he kept on getting like super close to me like when we were standing outside talking and i just kept kind of backing up because my personal space give it to me please I don't like people in my personal space unless i like you and he just was kind of a little too in my personal space and so that made me think like it just kind of gave off that he was like trying to kiss me or something i don't know if that was the case but his body language was giving that like he was trying to kiss me because how close he kept on getting to me and then i caught him looking at my butt like <sighs> so as all this is coming like i'm thinking about it so i'm thinking like okay i don't think that he's thinking of me as a friend like because if you if you thought of somebody as a friend you wouldn't certain things you just wouldn't like do like and his body language was kind of giving off like more than friends like like kind of sexual a little bit without him even touching me or even talking about anything sexual because i just can just sense body language like and energy now the end like yeah i was yeah it felt like that it felt like that so i'm like damn because it's like late it's like i don't know like 11 or 12 right now like as we were standing outside i'm giving he's giving off energy like he's 
sexually attracted to me and I'm just like oh god like I'm an hour from our house like I know he's not gonna wanna, like take me home right now so I'm probably gonna spend a night even though I did in in the text messages he asked me if um if I can spend a night and I'm thinking as friends again like you know I'm just an, an I might just be just a naive bitch like I just just so naive I think but it's out of a pure heart like I'm just I have like a little innocence to me where I don't think like because wouldn't it be like I'll be thinking I'm so full of myself I just thought like a nigga just wanted me like just automatically wanted me like if I just was like mm, if I would have told him in the text messages when he asked me that yeah but no funny business because I don't like you like that and we ain't like that and he'd be like bitch I don't like you like that like I got a whole girlfriend bro you know like you know what I'm saying like wouldn't that make me look like like, I'm just so full of myself if I was to just sit here and be like, yeah, but like, mm, I don't really like you. Like, I don't really find you. Like, mm, mm, mm. So I just, if he ain't say nothing that made me feel that that's how he felt about me, I'm not going to say nothing because I'm just going to assume that you think that you want to be friends. We want to be friends and shit like that. The fast forward into when I actually met him, I probably should have mentioned to him. Or I probably, but I feel like I shouldn't have to, I shouldn't have to be like, so like what is your attention what is your intentions with me or what do you think about me what do you feel about me what are you trying to do like you know because that's kind of weird in itself a little bit it's like i don't know it's kind of weird but i feel like as a man if that is something that you want to do with a female you should at least try to see if that's what that female want to do with you if the female is even attracted to you if the female likes you in that way or you know, if if that's the type of vibe, don't just assume that that's what is going on because you don't know. In a way, that makes you a little bit narcissistic, not narcissistic, but a little bit self-centered. Um, or is that self-centered or like full of yourself to think that it's just, I just want to have sex with you or I want to like do anything with you and I don't know you and it's the first time meeting you and shit like that. So while this is happening, my brain is like spinning because I know, I know what's about to happen. Like, I know what's about to happen. So he was like, okay, so we stand out there for a cool little minute just talking. Don't, you know, just talking normal. Now he was like, you know, he gave me compliments. He said I was weird, like in a, like a, a good way, like a cool way. I get that a lot. I am kind of weird. I don't really care. So I don't really take it in a bad way if someone calls me weird and thing. But he didn't say it in a like a bad way, like, oh, you're weird. He just was like, you know, you're weird. You're kind of weird. But like, that's cool because I'm weird too. And I'm like, okay, cool. That's cool. So he, he was saying that, you know, he was tired. So he wanted to go to sleep. I'm just like, okay, cool. Now we got to go back down into his room. And I have to sleep here. And I already know what's about to happen. So we go back downstairs. And this is the only time he offered me anything. He offered me some water. because he was drinking water so that's why he offered me the water <clears throat> now he got on his bed or whatever and he had like this little couch that was next to his bed i really wanted to sleep on that couch <laughs> like i wanted to sleep on that couch a lot it was like a little blow up it felt like a little blow up couch but i don't care i did not want to sleep in the bedroom like because i just already know what's about to happen bro it's never been a time that i i've not slept in the bed with many men before like and the only, well, I slept in the bed with probably two, two other men. And these two men, I didn't, we didn't do anything. We just literally slept in the bed. While I was sitting on this little couch or whatever, I was like, I had like this little blanket. He had like this little blanket. I had it over me because the bitch, I was ready to just sleep with this little blanket. I love comforters. I sleep with two comforters because I just like the weight. But I was going to sacrifice that comfort over just, over being uncomfortable even though it was a big bed that he had but i had asked him if he had like a little charger a little port like you know where i can plug in my phone where i was sitting on and he was like no but there's one over here by my bed and i was just like fuck i was like okay <laughs> you know i get into this fucking bed with this nigga and i'm like all the way on the like all the way by the wall like i'm so far away from this nigga like and i don't know but in my head like if i was a guy and i would see like a girl like super far away from me i would think hmm, she don't really want to she don't want to be like that cool because if a girl want to be like that with you she's going to be like that with you and she's not going to be sitting there being like especially a bitch my age i'm 25 like 
I'm not gonna be sitting here playing games and shit like that. If that's if I want to do that with a guy, then I'm 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 like I'm a whole different bitch from when I like somebody to when I don't like somebody. Like what I was giving to him was I don't like you. Yeah, far away from him as far as possible. That's how far I was. And so he had said the most niggish thing, which was why you all the way over there? Come cuddle with me. And bitch, inside my head, I'm just like, ugh. Cause I don't like being on niggas that I don't like. Like, I don't like, I don't like niggas touching me if I don't like you. Like, I don't want to be up on a nigga. Like, I, like, but I would feel like bad if I'd be like, it'd been awkward if I'd be like, um, I really don't want to be up on, on you or like, I don't like. Cause then I, that's then it would have just start coming out of me like i would like i don't like you i don't really find you attractive in that way i really just thought we was gonna be friends now it's awkward as fucking but now he called me an uber home <laughs> like it, you know what i'm saying now i'm trying to avoid the awkwardness so i kind of just like scooched up on him and i had my phone or whatever just like kind of like on instagram and shit like that and i wanted to text my best friend i want to text everybody i want to text like my best friend my sisters just to tell them what's going on like but it was late and I was like, and I felt like he was like on, like he had his arm around me. Uh, just like, mommy, <laughs> like that's how gross I, I, I be about like, guys, I'm not like, I don't like like that touching me. So like he was on me and I, and like, I wanted to text my sisters and my friend, but I'm like, I don't know if this nigga's like looking over my shoulder, like seeing me text the shit. So I just was like, just scrolling on like Instagram or whatever. And, um yeah he, he like was trying to rub on my stomach and i just was like oh like oh like i felt so like gross like just so gross like and that's not to say that he's not an attractive person he he's an attractive person but i'm just not attracted to him and i didn't think of him in that way so this kind of like threw me like it kind of threw me to be like a nigga touching me and i don't like you like that and i'm thinking that we we're friends he touched he rubbed on my stomach and stuff and I'm just trying to like make sure he don't touch my boot or touch my vagina or anything like that. So I'm like kind of like locked up. I'm kind of like locked up because I'm just like, ew, like please, like go to sleep, like please. And I always wait till niggas go to sleep before me before I go to sleep. So he kept on nodding off, like kind of going to sleep and then waking up. But while he was going to sleep, I wanted to like, like move over. But I also have this thing where I don't like waking people up like while they're asleep. Like I don't like waking people up because I find that weird and awkward as well. So I was, but I was gonna slowly like, you know, get off of him. He kept waking up periodically and just like rubbing my stomach and stuff. And so I'm just like, okay, like it's getting late. It's like two in the morning, and I'm I myself am tired now. And so I kind of like move over quick and like lay lay on my stomach because i didn't want him to try to like touch you know my private part or like my or my boobs or anything like that because that's what he like when he was rubbing my stomach he kind of was getting a little close to my boobs and so i kind of i thought laying on my stomach would be like a sure way to show him like i'm shutting it down no stop it like i'm going to sleep but no he this nigga start rubbing my ass the nerve of niggas the audacity of niggas why do you feel like you can just touch a bitch if i have not thrown out any signs and believe me i was not throwing out any signs at all whatsoever if i ain't talked to you about that type of shit why do you feel like you can just touch me why do you feel like you can just rub on me so at this point i am literally like disgusted like i'm just like <laughs> oh ew he's touching my butt ew like ew it's like he's rubbing my butt bitch and then he then he leans over and he's just like is it okay if i touch you like this and I want to be like, no, it's not okay. But again, I'm trying to avoid this awkwardness. I really don't do good in awkward situations. So 
I'm just like, um, sure. But I'm about to go to sleep, though. Because in my head, sleep is like a no. Like, that should be like a hard no. So I'm just like, I'm, but I'm going to sleep, though. So he continues to rub on my butt, bitch. Ugh. And I'm like, like literally like laying down, like making the ugliest faces. So what I decided to do is like fake snore to make it seem like I'm asleep. <laughs> so I start snoring. I start snoring loud, like. <laughs> And he kind of like looked like I felt him like stop and look over while I'm sn fake snoring. And then he kind of like moves his hand off my butt. And I'm just like, yes, yes, please go to sleep. Go to sleep, nigga. Go to fucking sleep. I really want to go home now. Like, ew, like, what? Like, I did not expect this. Like, this is fucking, like, what the fuck? Like, ugh. What the fuck? What the fuck? Why did this nigga think it was okay to touch me? He literally did not say anything about anything to make me believe or think that he was feeling me or trying to do some shit with me. And it made me think like, am I crazy? Am I crazy to think to want a nigga to actually have a conversation with me about it or like want to give the want want them to give me those type of signs or like like something so i'll know that's what the fuck you trying to do instead of hold on what is that instead of a nigga to just doing shit like and then on top of this like nigga first ask somebody if they're even attracted to you in that way like you you didn't ask me shit you don't know i could have been talking to somebody well but then again it's like why would i why would i come but if i'm thinking that we're friends it's it should be no problem to come over to like another friend's house but spending the night over another nigga house if you are with a nigga is a no-no so maybe that's why he thought okay boom she's not with nobody so that's cool but still like you don't know like how what my feelings were to you, towards you you don't know what my relationship status was you don't know anything you don't know if i just got out of a relationship you don't know shit you didn't act shit you just assume a bitch likes you because what off the strength did you think I was going to have sex with you because, what, you live in a mansion? You're somewhat of a famous YouTuber? What did you think exactly was the case when you said nothing at all? Like, what the fuck? You thought, I don't know. Maybe that's what he used to. He probably used to bitches just fucking him up just off the strength. But what am I fucking you for? Are bitches just fucking you just because? like just because because clearly you don't take bitches out on dates you don't get bitches food like what is what is a bitch fucking you for just to be fucking you just because you're in a mansion just because you're a famous youtuber what are they fucking you for please tell me because they like you if they like you okay cool but if you think that i was just going to have sex with you because you're a youtuber and you live in a mansion then you need to reevaluate some things. You need to reevaluate some things, my guy, because fucking no. That means shit to me, literally. So I literally was just like, like going in my head, like, what is going on right now? What is happening? Why, why, what, why is, why shit like this always happening to me? And then I thought, hmm, would I have felt the same way if? I was with the friend that I found attractive. Now that's the real tea. I really, I still was thinking about this. Like I was like, I did not like this guy. So of course I'm like, ew, like what the fuck? But if it was with the guy that I found attractive, the guy I was like, oh that nigga's sexy. But like, would I felt the same way? Like what I felt like I wouldn't want him to touch me or cuddle me or but for some reason, I feel like he got more, a little bit more, like, he know how to, like, deal with girls more. Because he kind of is a thot. Like, he kind of is a hoe. So, I feel like he kind of knows how to deal with girls more. But I still am thinking about this. Like, what would I have, would I have done that if, if it was with someone I was actually attracted to? I would have tried not to. 
I would try not to because just for principle's sake. Even if I was attract like hella attracted to him and mm, I don't know. I can't say what I could have done or or not because the when I tell you that nigga fine. <laughs> But it's not just because he's fine as fuck. Like, I think he has a really cool personality. <laughs> he does. I don't know why I'm laughing. I think he has a really cool personality. And <laughs> he is fine, though. Like, he's super fine. Like, he's, like, my type type fine. So I'm, sin I'm still thinking, like, it had I couldn't because of principles. I couldn't. But we don't know. We don't know, baby. We don't know. So anyway, I end up waking up at like 6.40 a.m. I don't feel, when I'm not comfortable at somebody's house, I wake up, I wake up early and then like I don't go to sleep, like I, I can't go to sleep after it. So it was like 6.40 a.m. I woke up, brightest shit outside, you know what I'm saying? I just, I can't even go to sleep. Like I'm so glad I hit this nigga on the other side and I'm on one side like. He wasn't all up on me and shit. Boom. Like, and I'm also on Instagram. Now, Instagram, like, you know how when you fucking click on a video, like, the sound will play? Bro, the sound played loud as shit, and it woke him up. <laughs> and it woke him I'm sitting here trying to, like, cut it off and shit. And so, he woke up. And then he got up, and he went to the bathroom. And then, so after he came out the bathroom, I got up, like, I unplugged my phone or whatever, and I was like, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. So I went to the bathroom. The bathroom is big as shit, too. Like, everything was just, it, the place is really nice. So I went to the bathroom or whatever, you know what I'm saying, fixed my hair up. I still had my lashes on and everything. I looked cute when I went there. So I'm not, I'm not, like, I'm not mad at him for, like, trying to, you know what I'm saying, do something with a bitch like me. Because I was looking a little cute. But I wasn't, like, you know, I wasn't putting shit out there. I just looking cute because I'm cute. Bitch. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I immediately just sat on the couch. My phone was charged enough. I sat on the couch. I wanted to be far away from him. So he had turned over or whatever. And he was like, he was like, um, why you don't want to cuddle with me? And I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just like, I just don't really like being up on niggas. Like, that's all. And he was like, you got to learn how to open up more. And I'm just like, No, no thank you. We was talking for a little bit. We was talking about Father's Day and shit. And then he was saying that he was going to take me home in a little bit. He was just going to like go back to sleep for a little bit. And I was just like, okay, cool. Like, at least he's taking me home. It, I think it was like at 8 something or whatever. He he ended up getting up. And um, he, you know, asked me if I wanted to go home. Bitch, even with, okay, it is 8 in the morning. I haven't ate nothing since the morning time of the next day. You ain't, he ain't even offered to, like, get me breakfast. Like, not even breakfast. Why do you think I was going to have sex with you? You know, you can't even offer food. Why would I have sex with you? <laughs> you know, he's taking me home or whatever. It's like a long ass drive home. We, we spoke a little bit in the car, but not really, like... It was like one of those type of vibes where you just know like you're kind of not going to hang out with a person no more. I, he might have not wanted to hang out with me because I didn't have sex with him. And I don't want to hang out with I didn't want to hang out with him because it's like you kind of just ruined the friendship thing. Like I thought we were going to be fucking friends. Like you ruined it. Why would you why would you do that? Like I really wanted to be your friend. Like now I feel weird. Like, I felt weird. Like, so weird. And I don't like feeling weird. I don't know if, if there can be a recovery from it. Like, I don't even know. <sighs> anyway. So, yeah, he took me home, whatever. We really didn't really talk much. We did not talk much in the car. Maybe because it was, like, 9, nine something in the morning. And that could be a reason that I, because I also am very mindful of, like, my personality so i also don't want people to know like when i'm like when my switch turned off while i'm in their presence because i don't want to make it awkward like i don't want to make things awkward he he did ask me if i was a morning person i was like no not really like not really a morning person like that so i took an account that he asked me that and what my answer was and i was like okay if i told him that i'm not really a morning person then that's okay for me to really not talk even though i can still talk like right now like 
in the morning time. It don't matter. If I want to have a conversation, I can have a conversation. But I didn't want to have a conversation because I just was so like weirded out and just like, ew, 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 what the fuck was this? Like, no. Kind of quiet in the car. We was just listening to music or whatever. But I didn't feel awkward about it being quiet in the car because even with all that happening, like I still felt like he would have been cool like as a friend. Like even now, I still feel like, bro, we could, like I could have been, like we could have been cool as a friend. Like we had like some similar interests, interests, interests. We had similar interests. So like, I don't know, but okay. So boom, drop me out home or whatever. And um, that was pretty much, that was pretty much it with the story time. I don't know how long this shit gonna be, but this might be a little long. Uh, we have not spoken since, and this was like a few days ago. I don't know, I don't know what I wanna do about it. I don't, because I still want to be his friend, but I don't know if he wanna be my friend. I don't know if he wanna be my friend, you know? I don't know if you want to be my friend without having sex with me. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. About that. Especially, but I feel like if I'm able to like, if we're able to have that conversation where we can be like, okay, boom, that was a little weird, you know, bro. Like, I didn't know that you even thought of me in that way. Like, I wanted to be friends. If we can have that mature conversation and like niggas don't get any feelings about it and shit, like, then cool, we can bounce back from it. But if he's like the type of nigga that's kind of like, Nah, bitch, you knew what the fuck you was there for. Like, then no, we can't be friends. Like, we can't be fucking friends. That was cool, you know what I'm saying? All in all, I was in a mansion, so... Who's really losing? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Who really lost? Like, I'm just kidding. It was, it was, I mean, it was cool. I just wish that didn't happen because he actually was cool, like, as a friend. Like, if you like this video, um, you know, do what the fuck you're supposed to do subscribe mm, 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 all the things all the things that you need to do um and i'm gonna talk to you guys later okay and she watch anime Ooh. she got the whole package when i'm with her we be making magic wow. i'm going berserk in the guts i'm finding demons night to night i'm feeling like guts these niggas be fooled and not really about it these niggas a bust getting the money is never an option this shit is a must